I'm Danny and welcome to my living room and also my brand new coffee table that I just built. So this is a, really a self critique and overview of kind of how I built this and why I built it. I really wanted to replace my old coffee table. I couldn't find anything online that really suited the, the style that I wanted, so I started searching a little bit more. The one I settled on was actually designed by Mark Palmquist called the Oliver Table. He was nice enough to give me a few pointers when I emailed him, of which I didn't basically use any of his tips at all. I just kind of pushed my way through this. This is the first project I really mostly overextended myself on to the point where I think I made a lot of uh, crucial mistakes that I would not want to repeat again. Jesus Christ. I think what appealed to me specifically was one, the minimalism and these like semi-organic shapes that are, are kind of pushed into that, like the oval shape, the kidney shape, the ellipsoid shape here which ended up being pretty challenging. As you can see here, this is not a normal shape at all, but there's an order to it. It's an easy enough thing for carpenters to just do a circle, put a nail in the center of a piece of wood and draw a line equidistant from the nail and that creates a circle. To make an oval, you use two nails and to make this weird shape, you actually have to use three nails. So it was kind of like an interesting journey in terms of just simple geometry, how to actually create this shape. It took me about seven different tries, but I eventually came up with this shape that I liked. After that, the thing that I really struggled with was simply edge gluing the wood. As a beginning carpenter like I am, it's super difficult just to cut a stupid straight edge. I've been through about two table saws and I'm now on my third, which finally cuts perfectly straight, both because it was perfectly calibrated before it got to me, and also because it's a heavier duty cabinet saw. I had to organize the wood in a way to where I could use the minimal amount of wood possible to make the shape without any waste. Uh, one thing I learned from this project was that if you're gonna deal with any sort of wood that has a propensity to, to flex and warp over time in a dry climate, uh, you've really gotta get a planer. I don't have a planer, I thought I could just sand through it. You just can't do it that well just by hand, unless you spend a lot more time than maybe I was willing to. The other thing that was super difficult about this table that you maybe really can't see is the curvature here. This was really hard to get a consistent curve on. I think the original design of this involved having some sort of jig on a table saw that kind of roughly got the shape for you. I basically just sculpted the corners with a sander by hand and by eye, but I guess I got through close enough. Uh, here's a piece of surface that I finished off with obviously not natural wood. I was in a rush. You really need to get epoxy to fill in wood because if you don't, you're gonna end up this ugly bird shit looking stain thing that I have, basically made out of a special putty that I bought for like three bucks, which really bothered me for about five minutes and then I put it in here and honestly, I don't even see it anymore, so. In the future, I'm only gonna use epoxy to fill in big knots in the wood because that's probably one of the only things that really looks good. The leg spacing, so. All right, as you can see, um, this leg's fine. It's in a good spot. These two legs are perfectly perpendicular to this leg which is maybe not most ideal. At the end of the day, I probably should have canted these legs out. If you were to step on this table and step on the backside, you would easily fall over. In terms of the finish, I think I did pretty decent on the finish. I used a tongue oil finish by Form Bees. It was the high gloss finish. I only did two coats. So I had built a few pieces of furniture before this. However, this was my first time to really jump into an irregular shape like this, which was quite a challenge. I normally build really square boxy pieces of furniture, but this table was definitely a challenge and a totally new style that I'd never tried before. I'd be really curious to get some critiques in the comments if you're able to, because I think I'm still processing this project and I wanna do better in the future. So if you have any uh, comments, please leave them. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope that you took away something valuable from this and I'll see you later.